you know, before I be begin my remarks, and since we're in a clapping mood, I have been to Mar-a-Lago on a number of occasions, but I cannot recall ever coming into this ballroom and seeing more beautiful tablescapes. Can we put our hands together for all of our wonderful designers? Again, on behalf of everyone involved with the Historical Society, I cannot thank you all enough for attending this, this wonderful event. Um, you know, when Penny approached me um, several months ago about this idea of this birthday party, uh, I was so honored by her, her request of me to participate in this wonderful endeavor. And also, she was so gracious and so kind to name the Historical Society of Palm Beach County as the beneficiary of the proceeds of this wonderful event. So Penny, thank you very much. Um, it is my pleasure this afternoon to introduce to you Penny Murphy, a woman who needs no introduction. Um, Penny, as you all know, has taken over in her father and in her grandfather's footsteps and has done just an absolutely magnificent job and it's quite a testimony to have this room filled with people that admire and appreciate and adore the work that she and her family do at Pioneer Linens. Thank you very much, Penny. When you, when you think of the words excellence, when you think of integrity, when you think of superior service and longevity, Pioneer Linens, the Greenberg family, and the Murphy family come to mind. Please join me in welcoming and, and toasting Penny Murphy and Pioneer Linens. Thank you. Thank you all so much for coming today. Pioneer Linens is really a story of the American dream. It's a story about my grandfather, Max Greenberg, who came to the United States looking for a better life in the early 1900s. He went through Ellis Island and on to Newark and then to Lake Worth. He eventually got to West Palm Beach. When he came to Lake Worth, people were living in tents. They were getting ready to settle this area. And so my grandfather decided to start a hardware store. He started out selling nails, hammers. Once those homes were built, he started selling blankets and kerosene lamps and ice boxes and other goods that they would need to make their homes more comfortable. Life was good for the Greenbergs until 1928 when we had a terrible storm at that time. And by the time that storm was over, my grandparents had lost the top of their house. My dad remembered hiding under a table in the, in the kitchen to wait out that storm with his little sister and my grandmother. My grandfather was at the store and that got flooded. So things got a little bit tough at that time. And then in 1929, the stock market crashed, followed by the depression in the 1930s. So once again, my grandfather started over and that was when he made the move to West Palm Beach on Clematis Street. He ended up being quite successful, enjoyed a good life, and when he died in 1957, my father took over. My dad, George Greenberg, took over. As many of you all know, my father was a brilliant businessman. But here's a little something you may not know about my father. Uh, Pioneer Linens was the first store in the country to ever have a towel wall. And this idea came to my dad when he was in the Army. When the men took a shower, they would step out, and there was this great big shelf with towels all on it. And so when the men took out, they would grab the towel and go. But when my father stepped out of that shower, he saw, mmm, display piece. This is a great display piece. And so he brought that idea back to Pioneer built it into the store, and of course he merchandised it with lots of different colors. Pretty soon the word got out, and he um, had the men from Martex and Fieldcrest came down, and they thought that was a pretty good idea, so they took it back and they incorporated it into their showroom, and as you know, that is the standard for selling towels today. Also, my dad came up with the term bed skirt, Best skirts used to be called dust ruffles, and he thought, 
That is a negative. Women do not keep dirty houses, right, right ladies? So uh, he changed that name, and once again, that also is what you go to buy, and it's a fashion piece for your bed. Now, just as my grandfather had the challenge of the depression and the hurricane, my dad's challenge were the malls. It was during the 60s that we got the first mall in West Palm Beach, and people became mall shoppers. My dad decided to stay downtown, and at that same time, it was when they started building a lot of condos in South Palm Beach, and we had the condo craze in Florida. There was also a buzzword called boutique, and at that time, Pioneer, the Pioneer Company became a linen boutique, and we started selling better quality goods. Um, there was another boom again in the 90s, and that was when the Western communities were developed, and those were the golfing communities, and they started building really big houses then, beautiful Meisner houses with big barreled roofs, and we really enjoyed that era because not only were these houses big, but they had big bedrooms and palatial bathrooms. So we were able to step it up once again. We sold bazillion thread count sheets. We sold crystal waste baskets with platinum and great big banquet-sized tablecloths. My father had a long and prosperous time at Pioneer. He loved what he did, and he was able to enjoy it until 1992 when he passed away. It was during the 90s that I came in, and I believe that one of the things that we have been able to endure today and become a milestone that we're celebrating is because every generation brought a little something to the business and changed it to try to make it so that it would fit the community that they were living in today. So in the 90s was the information age, and I decided that Pioneer Linen should have a website, www.pioneerlinens.com. And when I presented this, they said to me, Penny, who are gonna buy linens over the internet? That's something you have to touch and feel. And no one is gonna put their information into that computer. We know how that went, right? <laughs> so, I am proud to tell you today that um, last year we sold linens to, over, to customers in over 30 different countries. People from Bangkok to Hong Kong, from London to Australia, are sleeping on our sheets, drying off with our towels, and dining on our table linens. So we are very fortunate that we have been able to develop those relationships over the years. And now I would like to introduce to you the fourth generation for Pioneer Linens. First of all, our oldest son, Alan Murphy. Can you come front, please? Alan um, was very close to my father and he went to business school at Palm Beach Atlantic College, and he now heads up our yacht division, Linens for Yachts, and he has been quite successful, and he works extremely hard and loves what he does. The middle child and our oldest daughter is Marissa Murphy. She got her business degree from a small college in North Carolina called Lee's McRae College. And Marissa heads up our internet. She's doing a great job with that. And last but not least is our youngest daughter, Camille Murphy. Camille got her degree at Florida Southern in Lakeland, and she is in charge of communication and advertising. So I have the fourth generation, and I need to have my husband stand up, Alan Murphy. We want to thank you all. We certainly would not be here without our loyal customers, the vendors, our relationships that span, in some cases, several generations as well, and to all the loyal employees 
that we have had that have worked with us along the way. We are a very grateful family, and the fact that all of you would stop your busy schedules to come and celebrate us today is beyond what I ever dreamed of. Thank you very much. And if you're fortunate to live in a little community like we are, we are very lucky to have people like Mr. and Mrs. Johnson who always step up when something is needed for the community. They are so incredibly generous. And so today I would like to introduce Pat Johnson. He's gonna speak for the family and to all of you at the Johnson family. Thank you so much for coming today. It was really wonderful of you. Good afternoon. First, I wanna thank all of you for coming to this wonderful celebration of Pioneer's 100th year. It means a lot to them, it means a lot to us at the Historical Society. As I thought about my remarks I would be making today, it was relatively easy for me to count the many, many blessings our family has enjoyed as a di direct result of being residents of, Palm, of the Palm Beaches all these years. Because this community has been so good to us, we have involved ourselves in things that have introduced us to many heroes. George Greenberg is number one. He is the number one hero. I knew him first at Pioneer. I would walk in and he would always come down from his office and say hello and thank me for what we did for our community. We became good friends when I were serving, both of us serving on the board of the Historical Society. What a wonderful man. His generosity was overwhelming. Penny and her family have carried on in his wonderful footsteps, and we all thank you. We congratulate you and love you. Thank you, Penny for you and your family for asking us to be honorary chairman. We were honored. I would like to also echo both Pat and Penny's sentiments, just to, to thank you all again for your support of this incredible event. And I think it's important for you all to, to understand and to know where the proceeds from such a wonderful event like this go. As many of you all know, at the Historical Society, we have a wonderful collaborative partnership with the school district of Palm Beach County. And we bring educational curriculum to fourth graders and seventh graders throughout the county. And since the inception of this program, literally thousands and thousands of young people have cycled through the museum, have received supplementary educational curriculum put on by our organization, and are all the better for their time having spent in the museum and learning about the wonderful, colorful, and rich history of Palm Beach County. So thank you all very much. You know, events like this don't go, out, go off without the support, uh, the tremendous support of underwriters and sponsors. Um, this event is no different. And you know, Penny alluded to some of the relationships that she has had with some of her vendors and suppliers over the years. And again, I cannot say to you all enough what a testament that is to the character and the integrity of her and her family. Um, so what I'd like to do is um, introduce uh, several of the sponsors and give them an opportunity to tell you some, uh, some interesting things about the Murphy family and the Greenberg family. First, I'd like to introduce Paul Hooker. Paul, can you come up, please? Thank you. Paul is the president and CEO of Safera, one of the vendors for Pioneer Leonard's. Please join me in welcoming Paul. Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks, everyone. I'll be brief. I think today was maybe the first time I heard that Mr. Greenberg had a first name. I mean, he, he was so revered. I would come down to West Palm, and I remember going to lunch with Mr. Greenberg, and I would walk maybe a step behind him when we would walk down Clematis, and you could see the people coming toward him, and they would start this low waist bow <laughs> as they approached him. 
And I was much younger those days, and I, I was just amazed at Mr. Greenberg. And, and I, 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 my few words, I just wanted to speak about him because he, he was instrumental in a lot of different things that we did. And the one story I want to tell you was we're a 120-year-old company, but we're nothing like Pioneer because Pioneer had one family through four generations. And George Matuk and I took Sfera in 1977, so the Sferas could only do it 80 years. So we've, we, we've been around a little bit longer, but not one family. This is a tribute that I don't know a store in America that, that, that can make this claim of 100 years and Penny and her family to be congratulated. But Mr. Greenberg would say to me, and I have to show you, this was our logo, and it was very convoluted and had a lace ball and the purveyors of fine linens and Sfera Brothers Limited. And Mr. Greenberg would always say to me on occasion, he would look me in the eye and he would say three words, lose the brothers. <laughs> and I never quite understood. I, di I didn't know what he meant by that. I thought, well, okay, that's a Florida thing and we've been around a long time. <laughs> and he would say it to me on occasion. So one day, 10 years ago, we hired a New York firm, paid $25,000, did the whole thing, the whole, the whole marketing aspect, and they showed us all the single names, and, and essentially, we, the logo was changed to this, and $25,000 later, I remember the marketing person essentially saying, you got to lose the brothers. <laughs> so. Mr. Greenberg, had I listened to you before, I would have saved an awful lot of money. And he was just, he was an amazing human being. And I'm, I'm so proud to be here today to speak with you and so proud of Penny and her family. And, and thank you and have a wonderful day. And if I, now if I may, would I uh, ask please George Matuk Jr. to come on up to the stage, please. George, come on up. George is the president of Matuk. Hi, I'm here to introduce my son, George Matuk Jr., to all of you. Oh, wait, I'm George Matuk Jr., but I'm going to introduce my father, George Matuk Sr., because um, he has such a long, uh, illustrious history with the Greenbergs and Pioneer. I thought he could shed more light on the uh, amazing relationship that our two companies have shared over time. Th thank you, George. I'm glad you straightened this out. <laughs> we, I, I, like the Greenbergs, are a family business. We're third, George is third generation. I was second. My father started in the 1920s. We, one thing we always believe in is loyalty. And I think that's where we fit right in with, with, with Pioneer. I had this discussion just yesterday with, with Penny. And she said, what do you think the future is in, in the linen business? And I said, as long as there are people who love what they're doing and keep the, the values that are tilled in this business, know their identity, there will always be people in the United States who want to live better, I want to be treated better, and that's the, f the future is, is there. I had one discussion with my father in the, f in the future. I didn't have as long a period of working with him as I would have liked, five years. But he, I said, how would I do, Dad? What am, what am I going to be, what am I going to do with this business? He said, you will do better than I did because you're younger, you're more, you've got my experience to build on. And he said, if there's a generation after you, <laughs> he'll, he'll do even better. And I'm happy to say that we're doing, I was very proud to work with my father. I'm proud of the company. I'm proud of the business we have with, Pi with the Pioneer. And I'm proud of George, who's making it happen. Congratulations, and may the next hundred years be as better and happier than the first hundred. I don't know if any of us will be here to separate, celebrate. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out to support this, and we hope that we'll have a good, a fun evening, the afternoon, too. Thank you.
is what it must feel like to be at the Academy Awards, I do believe. I'll try not to offend anybody. Um, next, if I, if I could, I'd like to call Jean Pat Baptiste Dehan uh, to the stage, please. Jean is the Chief, Finance, Chief Executive Officer of Yves de la Rome. So, dear Penny, you asked a Frenchman to speak today and to be brief. <laughs> there is a conflict there. Have you ever met a French man, especially? We can stop talking. Um, you take some risks, and that's what I like about you. And I think this is why we are all here, to celebrate this unique family success story. Max and George, unfortunately, I'm a little bit too young uh, to have met them. Wherever they are today, must be so glad and so proud to see that Pioneer Linens, despite all the challenges this incredible and amazing country faced during these last 100 years, remains strong and stable. Pioneer Linens share the same value as my dearest and uh, missed country. Tradition, quality, durability, vision. I'm going to be brief. Pioneer, P, as pink, as penny. <laughs> I, iconic, imaginative. O, original. N, never stop selling. <laughs> e, energetic. E, evolve, e-commerce. R, ready for one more century. Congratulations. And finally, our, our last sponsor. If I may call Ty, Ty Barnes to the stage of Wells Fargo. Ty? And if I might politely remind you, you are the last speaker separating this wonderful group of people from their lunch. So come on up. And once again, thank you, thank you very much to all of our wonderful sponsors and to all the guests here today. Your support of, of Pioneer Linens um, and through Pioneer Linens, the Historical Society is very, very greatly appreciated. Well, thank you all. Um, Wells Fargo is very proud to be part of this wonderful event. What we are proudest of, though, is that um, as you celebrate your 100th anniversary, Pioneer Linens and the many generations of your family have banked with the many generations of our institution. Um, we thank you for your loyalty, congratulations, and we look forward to another great 100 years together. Thanks. <laughs>